Injimar Macarini, an endurance swimmer from uh, whose roots, uh, who traces his roots from Surigao in the Taranga region, set a new record by becoming the first person to swim across the Masbate Channel. He covered a distance of 10.5 kilometers last Saturday, June 24. The channel is known for its strong currents and serves as a major route between the Visayas and Luzon regions. Macarine completed the, the swim in four hours and 22 minutes, adding to his impressive record of 37 successful endurance swims. The challenging crossing was witnessed by locals and government officials in Masbate, including Governor Antonio Po. Joining us today is uh, the man dubbed as the Pinoy Aquaman. He's a lawyer and one of the prosecutors in, in, in Bohol, Prosecutor Injimar Macarini. Welcome to Rappler. Hello, Herbie. Uh, thank you? you for inviting me here. <laughs> and thank you for granting us uh, uh, this opportunity to talk with you. No? Yes, sir. Uh, Piscal, uh, how are you after the Saturday swim? 10.5 kilometers. I cannot imagine someone swimming for 10.5 kilometers. How are you? <laughs> Nako sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I started swimming at around 7 o'clock. And then I finished around 11.22. So it was re really very, very hot. <laughs> so ang protection ko lang naman sa, sa, uh, sa, sa sun, uh, sunblock lang. Kaya uh, kung mag-swim tayo ng four hours, syempre ang sunblock after one hour, wala na yun. Kaya uh, yun ang number one ko na... Uh, Naramdaman after the swim. <laughs> eh, paano yung mga joints mo? Nananakit din ba? Uh, this time, Herbie, ay wala naman. Oh, wala. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, the longest swim that I did was the one from uh, Dumaguete City to Sikihor. So that the swim lasted 12 hours, almost 12 hours. Mm -hmm. I started swimming for, uh, at around 5 o'clock and then finished at five o'clock in the afternoon. Yun, and, uh, and, this one was, <laughs> and this swim was, you, you did this, itong sa Masbate, in four hours and 22 minutes. Is that correct? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Kahit okay. okay. yung 22 minutes, medyo ako, ini-imagine ko. <laughs> Parang ako mismo, hindi ko kaya yun eh. No? Pero, <laughs> sa Indians. Tell, tell us something about yourself fiscal. Uh, uh, nanggaling, yes, nanggaling ka sa Surigao, doon ka pinanganak. Paano ka napunta dyan sa Bohol? Yes, Harvey. I grew up in Surigao and then uh, last 2004, I put up a cable TV business in Tubigan, Bohol. And then uh, I joined the Comelec as a Comelec lawyer. So kaya mm -hmm. napunta ako because of that uh, business. And then... Uh, uh, in December 2020, 2020, I joined the prosecution, Department okay. of Justice. So that's why I'm here in in Bohol. <laughs> okay. I see, I see, I see. I see. <laughs> yes, yes, now, yes. Now, Vizcar, going back to your swim, ano, uh, maraming curious, an anong motivation mo to, to become an endurance swimmer? Uh, uh, Herbie, yung... Uh, I, I am promoting three advocacies, especially healthy lifestyle. Kasi mm -hmm. ang, ang sa akin, lifestyle na ito eh. <laughs> Yung uh, I, I train every day, uh, one hour a day. I exercise every day and then I sleep seven to eight hours daily. Mm -hmm. I don't eat uh, meat. I'm a, I'm a plant-based athlete. And then I don't smoke. I don't drink. Alcoholic beverages. Seven years na ang last ko na ano, na beer. <laughs> so, oh, yun ang uh, yun ang pinopromote ko na ano yung healthy lifestyle. Maliban don sa mm. sa marine conservation, 
Mm-hmm. At saka tourism. So mm-hmm. every time I swim, uh, yung host ko, pinopromote ko yung yung tourism sa area. So yung ngayon, yung mas bati swim ko, uh, ay uh, pr- eh, pinopromote ko yung uh, mas bati tourism. So uh, yun yung ano ko, Harvey, yung yun ang motivation ko na parang uh, uh, why not promote uh, my advocacy through sports? Anyway, I'm already into sports. Mm-hmm. I grew up in sports. <laughs> uh, like uh, uh, high school pa lang, ang dami ko ng sports. And Kaya, kailan, mo kayo nag- kailan mo kayong nag-umpisa ng lumangoy? Varsity uh, Barty- uh, swimmer ako sa Siliman, sa Dumaguete. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then sa law school, kaya uh, parang uh, ito na talaga yung life natin. I- I- iba na oh. Oh, 10 years na ako sa open water swimming. Uh-huh. I started in 2013. So, kaya nga, 37 swim yung mas bate ko eh. Uh-huh. Dami na. Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> yung, sa ter- yung 37 swims na yan, uh, anong, which one do you consider very, pinang pinaka-challenging at uh, pinaka-mahirap? Uh, the one in Dumaguete. That was really... Uh, the most difficult swim that I had, uh, because uh, we expected that that, that the swim. When was this? Be, when was this? When was this? Uh, I mean, April 2017. Okay. okay. I was then with the Comelec. Uh, okay. Ang expected time namin na matapos yung swim, mga seven to eight hours lang. Oh, so, oh. ko sa, ang layo pa ng dumaget eh, siyempre nasimulan ko na. <laughs> Tinapos na lang talaga. Pero mahirap talaga kasi ilang beses ko nang naisip na i-stop yung uh, swim eh. Pero syempre, uh, iba tayo pag, <laughs> pag may challenge eh, hindi sumusuko. <laughs> so itong in- endurance swimming is not just about the stamina. It's also about being mentally prepared. Yun ang number one. <laughs> Yun ang number prepared. one na ano. How do, you, how do you prepare your mentally papano how do you condition your mind na talagang i- i- push through talaga despite the challenges ang ano ko lang talaga yung Sam 23 yun ang binabalik-balik ko pagpagod na ako s'yempre yung swim ang start start talaga mag sumasakit yung katawan around 4 or 5 hours na yung swim okay. so Yun ang pag meron ako mga doubts, bali parang susuko na, binabalik-balik ko lang yung Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay. Yun ang binabalik ko. <laughs> so meron, may konting religious na na inspiration ka rin. Ano? Yes, kasi ito. mental talaga itong ano. Actually, I would say 80% mental. Kasi ang daming mga swimmers na, na magagaling, mabibilis. Mm-hmm. Pero mm-hmm. ang endurance, doon ang question. Kaya 10 years na ako, Her- Herbie, sa open water swimming, pero walang gumaya. <laughs> May gumaya na, sa pilot nila siguro, pero once or twice lang na swim, wala na. I've been doing this for the past 10 years, kaya and I will do this habang kaya pa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Utak uh, talaga, utak, utak. <laughs> How do you handle or adapt changing weather, weather or water conditions when 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 you swim? Yes, yun ang nangyari sa ano yung swim ko sa mas bati ng Saturday. Nag-change yung tide. Okay. Nag-start kami ng ng low tide sa o'clock. clock. Uh-huh. Uh, ang akala ko na mga three o'clock out after three hours. Matapos na. Hmm. Tapos, uh, uh, medyo natagalan, hindi rin namin nalaman na yung 6 o'clock pala nag-start yung low tide. <laughs> Kaya medyo na, nasalubong ko yung high tide. Yung, yung challenging kasi yung, yung magsalubong yung low tide sa high tide eh. And then may hangin pa. Uh, yung sa akin talaga, kung meron akong mga challenges na ganun, I just go on. Iniisip ko lang na, one arm in front of the other. Ganun lang yung inisip ko. Uh, ganun lang. Kasi kung iisipin so, ko yung... Sa, in, in your swims, ano ba yung pinakamahirap na uh, point? Yung malapit ka na sa shore because of may rip tide? Or anong, anong pinakamahirap na point when you swim? Uh, 
Yes, depende sa ano sa area kasi yung sa Masbate ngayon yung last 1 km kasi meron namang mga areas na yung mga ibang swims ko na pinupush ako sa shoreline. This time okay. kasi uh, I was being uh, pushed away. Kaya sabi ko sa okay. navigator ko sa boat na but why are why are we not moving forward? Parang umaatras okay. kasi tinitingnan ko yung island parang hindi gumagalaw. <laughs> So, uh, kasi yun ang challenge kung uh, baka hindi aabot doon sa shoreline. Kaya medyo kinabahan ako kasi naku, I, I'm being uh, I was being pushed away by by the tide. Pero ano naman, binilisan ko lang. Mah- mahirap kasi yung kung baka parang nag sprint sa last portion, yeah. syempre pagod na eh. <laughs> so pag ganun, pag ganun situation, the only way is for you to to increase the rate of your stroke yeah swim faster <laughs> parang sprint so, ang hirap yun kasi syempre 4 hours do next swim mag sprint ka pa and during this entire time walang physical contact with with the people near you or on yes. the boat the whole time Bio- 4 hours 22 minutes no physical contact Every hindi ka pwedeng minutes. hindi ka pwedeng humawak sa boat oh sandali pahinga muna ako hindi ko lang ganoon yes herbie uh, i'm not allowed under the rules the english channel rules uh, i'm not allowed to touch the boat and i'm not allowed to be touched by another human <laughs> so yung the whole time i was, I was swimming for hours 22 minutes uh, walang humawak sa akin hindi ako humawak ng boat meron naman tayong mga media uh, persons mm-hmm. na nag-witness sa swim. So, sila yung uh, parang mag-attest na hindi talaga ako humawak. So, yun yung sinusunod natin. Yung uh, bali ang nangyari, every 30 minutes, uh, meron akong feeding. Okay. So, who, yung, sets this, who sets these rules? English Channel. <laughs> swimming. Okay. Yeah, swimming so, association. They, they will document this. Uh, no, uh, meron na, merong association doon sa US mm-hmm. na WAUSA, WAUSA. Sila yung uh, World Open Water Swimming Association. Mm-hmm. Sila yung parang nagsa-certify na na-swim. So okay. meron akong, yeah, na, na-receive ko yung parang article uh, from the group recognizing my swim. Okay. Now, et- eto para to sa mga uh, like me na medyo matatakot din sa tubig, sa dagat, sa deep sea, ang, ang pumapasok sa mind ng ibang tao, no? yung wildlife ng dagat. Have, have you seen <laughs> any marine Church, wildlife, <laughs> violent or uh, uh, otherwise? And how do you deal with them if if, if you did? Yes. Ano, uh, shark talaga kagad ang nasa isip eh. <laughs> Oh, Jaws, yeah. eh. Jaws, yung the image of, uh, uy, may Jaws, merong <laughs> yun ang iniisip ng tao. Pero kahit jellyfish, yes, kahit jellyfish, problema yun, di ba, Fiscal? Yun ang, yun ang concern ko, number one. <laughs> jellyfish. Oo, oh, kasi uh, meron akong five swims sa US, eh. especially sa San Francisco, Golden Gate area, maraming sharks daw dyan, eh. <laughs> So medyo uh, tri- ano, no? Ito, ha- ano yung mga sharks wala namang wala namang lumapit wala ako oh. sa akin kasi Herbie alam ko na safe ang dagat pag may boat yun lang talaga okay. eh may escort boat hindi ako nagsiswim na walang escort boat kaya uh, uh, alam na uh, alam ko na hindi tayo part sa food chain oh, oh, food chain ano oh, oh, hindi tayo part sa diet nila <laughs> so, alam ko na I've, 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 talk to, I've talked to a marine biologist who says, fiction yan uh, nasa movies lang yan because the, the sharks or don't don't see humans as a, uh, food actually no? they can attack that's, that's it, but they, you're true. not part of you're not part of their diet yun ang sinasabi yes, that's ng, true. ng mga uh, Pero ang main concern mo, hindi sharks, jellyfish. Jellyfish. <laughs> Alam mo yung... 
na jellyfish ka na ba while you were swimming? Nako yung when I swam from Bohol to Cebu in 2016, 3 kilometers yun. Puro jellyfish. Oh my God, <laughs> so, kasama yung sa endurance. Oh, wala tayong magawa. Siyempre, natural habitat nila. Yan eh, tayo oh, ang oh, tayo ang invader. Wala. Fiscal, no? aside from your itong advocacy mo for the for cleaner environment, for tourism, for uh, healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. <laughs> Uh, sana all yung sinasabi nila sana all <laughs> uh, in one interview you said na syempre iba na yung compared to 2017 or earlier than that iba na yung nag like, you've aged Out. and uh, do you see yourself doing this 10 years 5 years from now condition talaga feeling ko parang yung age ko ngayon parang nasa 20s pa <laughs> feeling na utak lang <laughs> very good, very ako, ako herdy ano ako ang sekreto ko lang talaga i take care of myself i sleep 7 to 8 hours a day i don't drink i don't smoke and mm-hmm. kasi asthmatic ako eh <laughs> asthmatic kaya uh, wala yun then i am also hypertensive meron ako maintenance so i try to take care of myself, I exercise every day. Uh, mm-hmm. Yun ang mga sekreto ko kung, kung bakit I, 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 I'm still in tip-top condition. Okay. Feel ko kasi uh, kaya ko pa eh. Nakikita ko sa yung mga ka-age ko medyo uh, medyo ano na, <laughs> alam mo na mga lawyers. <laughs> medyo umiinom, nanigarilyo. <laughs> Ito yung discipline mo as it help you in your asthma problem? medyo nawala yung asthma mo or... Hindi. <laughs> Hindi, ha? Mer- meron pa rin asthma, eh. <laughs> Hindi ka naman ina-asthma in the middle of the swing. Hindi naman, no. Wala na. Meron naman ako maintenance. Meron ako noong uh, puff. So, daily yon Morning and afternoon. So, I take them religiously. So, okay naman. And then, I I just had a check-up two weeks ago. So, okay. Sabi na ang call mo ko, okay naman daw. <laughs> you were so, given a pain. Kaya pa. Kaya pa. <laughs> so, so, Fiscal, what's next? Anong, anong isusunod mo? Uh, kasi ako, Herbie, uh, siyempre as a prosecutor, BC. <laughs> uh, meron ako, uh, binabalance ko na yung time. Eh. Yun ang isa sa mga ano, kasi marami akong kaso. I management talaga. So, imagine I, I exercise one or two hours daily. Kung may swim, two hours na yun. So, um, I, maybe I can do one or two swims uh, this year. Uh, meron akong swims as a Dapitan City. So, okay. i-finalize lang namin hopefully by August or September. This year? So, yeah, uh, 14 kilometers yun. Uh, yun ang next challenge ko. So, I have to prepare for that. Okay. You keep us posted. We'll, we'll, we're, in, we're interested in following you and covering you in, in the PITA. Thank you, Herbie. <laughs> thank you, Robert. So on, that, <laughs> on that note, I uh, would like to thank you, uh, Prosecutor Injimar Macarine, for gracing our, our, for granting us this interview. It's, it's been a pleasure to have you here. Uh, Prosecutor. Salamat, guys. Uh, thank you, Herbie. Thank you, Robert. <laughs>